Hello, everybody. Hope uh, your week is going well. Uh, it's obvious I'm not in my backyard to film this video. I'm in our video vineyard room. It's a reminder we have our third and final life group leadership gathering coming up on September 22nd, Sunday, obviously, from 1130 to 1230 here in the video venue room. I have a link in the body of the email to RSVP. P. Please do that as soon as you can so we get a, a clean and clear head count of how many lunches we need to put together for that day. We'll be together in finishing our talk on stewarding our mission of being with, thinking like, and being mistaken for simply as life group leaders. And also, our meetups have gone well this summer. Uh, again, they're shaped around things we just naturally do eat tacos, eat donuts, and drink coffee. Uh, three of my favorite food groups in the whole wide world. Um, and if you've already attended one, uh, feel free to come to another one. It's just a real informal time uh, where we just spend time to talk about the habits or practices we participate in to be mistaken for Jesus. And uh, it's just a great time of sharing and a great way to connect and catch up. Those are happening in October. Again, RSVPs will be in the body of this email. Uh, and now we're starting a new series. It's uh, Seeking Jesus in Exodus. You know, there's a moment in Moses' life around a burning bush where he has a conversation with God. And he simply asks God, who shall I say you are or who has sent me? And God simply replies, I am who I am. And when we're looking at how Jesus references that passage or that phrase, I am, like I am the vine, I am the bread of life. And uh, I chose a verse from John chapter five. I've made more cards if you like one, but it's John 15, five. It says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So I invite you to meditate or memorize this passage with me. Why I chose this one, it's one of my favorite verses because it, it talks about remain or abiding in Jesus. And the whole idea is structure, right? What makes a healthy vine? It's the trellis that it sits upon, a structure that holds it up. Well, what's a structure in our life? Well, those are the habits of memorizing or meditating on scripture. It's the way Jesus uses those moments that we're with him, thinking about him, to help us think like him and be mistaken for him. So I invite you, I'll have these with me on any given Sunday if you'd like one or you make one yourself, but I invite you to memorize or meditate on the scripture to simply be mistaken for Jesus. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you for the care that you provide to our community. Our paths will cross soon. Thank you.